Hello students. Today we are going to discuss on the chapter chapter number five, living and non-living things of class three, general science. Okay. First of all, before starting a chapter, living things and non-living things. Let's make it clear. Okay. You can see at your home also. Okay, in your surrounding. If you you can if you can see that the chair which you are sitting plus the table which you are using. Okay, plus the spoon, any things, okay, which does not have or which do not have life is known as a non-living things. An example, right after you go out from your home, okay, you can find trees there, birds, okay, small, small insects, animals, okay, human beings, this all comes under living things, okay. That means the things which have life is called a living thing and the things which do not have life is called a non-living things. Now let's go to the chapter. Living things are different from non-living things in many ways. Living things move. Here are some points given. Point number one, living things move. They grow, they eat, they breathe. They feel changes around them. They produce young ones. They grow all and die. Okay. These are the few points. The, the, the points we are going to discuss in the chapter. First, living things move. Animals move from place to place in search of food and shelter. They also move to run away from their enemies. Okay, most animals have legs to move. A fish uses its fins and tail to move in water. Bird uses its wings to fly and legs to walk. Snakes use their bodies to move. Okay, so like animals like cows, okay, buffaloes, tigers, and then lions, they all move from one place to another in search of food and shelter. If they don't eat food, they are not going to survive. That means they are going to die. And if they don't Get a proper shelter that means therefore they might have like suffer from fever and all the animals also they suffer same like the human being okay now have you seen a plant move from one place to another i think no okay because plants do not move from one place to another okay why because the roots are stuck or the roots of the plants are inside the mouth okay the animals they have legs okay the hum we human beings we also we have legs that means we have two legs two hands plus the animals they have four legs okay we consider as a leg but they use it same as like a hand but the trees they do not move from one place to another in search of food and shelter plants are living things but they do not move they make their own food so that they do not have to move in search of food However, parts of some plants do move. The bud of sunflower turns towards the sun. The leaves of the touch may not plant move when touched. Okay, these are some plants which move, but it doesn't mean that it moves from its place to one another. That means it does not mean that it moves from one place to another place in search of food and water. Okay, now second point is living things grow. Look at your baby photographs. Have you not grown and changed? Okay, when you see a photograph of your childhood when you were born, if you go and if you ask your mother or father, father, mother, I want to see my childhood photos, and you just take the photo of your childhood. After that, you take a photo right now, okay, in class three, okay, a picture of class three and a picture of nursery, okay. You compare it and you can find out the changes which is there in you. Okay, that means the photograph which was taken in nursery was very small and very cute. Okay, but the photograph which is taken in class three is also cute, but not like the nursery one. That means your body is also going on in change. Your body has been changing from day you were born. When you were born, you were a small baby. Now you are a young child. In a few years, you will grow into an adult. Okay, that means when you were born, you were a small baby. After that, after some years, you will grow into a young child. Then after that, you will grow into an adult. After adult, you will grow older and older. And one day, we all which are there in the world are going to die. Okay. A seed grows into a small plant. The plant may grow to become a tree. All plants and animals grow and change. Non-living things do not grow. Okay. Only living things which have life. Okay. Whether it might move from one place to another. Or if it do not move, also the things which have life comes under living things. That means they grow. But the non-living things which do not have life, okay.
okay like a table chair fan okay electric bulb anything they don't grow that means they don't have life next point is living things need food okay living things need energy to grow move and keep their bodies fit and healthy they get energy from food plants make food for themselves animals move from place to place to find food okay now for you to live okay for you as a student okay you you need food okay you need food to eat after that after you get after you eat the food you get energy from the food protein from the food which will help you to move okay run play sing okay anything you do the activities the daily activities which you perform for that we require food without food we cannot survive without water we cannot survive same like the human beings okay the animals and plants also they need food to survive now non living things do not need food okay like the table chair fan everything the non living thing which does not have life they don't need food because they can live for the whole life entire for the entire life okay until and unless unless it breaks now living things breathe place on your hand place your hand on your chest and feel it go up and down it goes up when you breathe in it goes down when you breathe out like this when you place your hand right hand on your heart okay you can find that your heart is pumping inside that means you are breathing okay the pumping and after the heart pumps here the air which you take inside that means the oxygen which you take inside okay it circulates in the body and helps you to breathe and after that the air which you exhale okay that means you throw out from your body that is called carbon dioxide pinch your nose to stop breathing you will not be able to hold your breath for a long time you need air to breathe all living things need air to breathe okay when we pinch that means when we hold our nose like this we can find out that it is very difficult for us to breathe when we close the nose okay that means if we close the nose okay for a long time we are going to die and we cannot survive more than i think uh, maximum 2 to 3 minutes okay after that we are surely going to die okay there are some person okay in the whole world okay we can find a very few person who can stop their breathing for around 11 minutes okay or 15 minutes maximum but we are not all same that means if we close our nose we are definitely going to die then living things have special body parts to help in breathing you breathe through your nose many other animals breathe through their noses okay but not animals animals and human beings okay they breathe through the nose but fish we are going to find out here fishes breathe through gills grasshoppers and crocodiles breathe through ear holes in their bodies okay fish they breathe through their gills and after that grasshoppers and crocodiles they breathe through their ear holes plants breathe through small openings in their lips called stomata these openings are so tiny that you cannot see them non living things do not breathe okay same like the uh, way of eating food okay the non living things they don't need to breathe okay to live all living things produce young ones the process of producing young ones is called reproduction okay all animals either give birth to their young ones or lay eggs animals like monkeys cows goats elephants and rabbits give birth to young ones humans also give birth to the young ones okay now you see here human okay baby monkeys also baby cows also baby okay i'm taking here two animals plus human okay for the reproduction that is the human they produce a baby child then monkey produce a baby monkey we can call after that the cow also produce a baby cow and we can call it as calf okay so that means the living things the living things which produce baby we call it as a mammal okay the living things which produce a baby we call it as a mammal okay now see here another thing animals like birds crocodiles alligators snakes fishes in and insect lays eggs young ones hatch from these eggs okay now the animals this two is these two are also animals but they lay they give birth to a baby child 
ओके देखी पार्ट टू अब बेबी मोंकी और बेबी काउ देन ह्यूमन अ बेबी मैन नाउ फॉर एनिमल्स सम अदर एनिमल्स लाइक बर्ड्स बर्ड्स ओके देन स्नेक्स देन फिश ओके नाउ दिस ऑल दे ए लेग्स they all lay eggs and they don't give birth to a baby okay they don't give birth to a baby but they lay eggs then most plants okay reproduce through seeds when seeds fall on the ground they grow into baby plants in some plants the stem roots and leaves can also produce new plants have you seen plants growing from potatoes and onions at home potatoes and onions are stems which from which new plants grow okay like if you see in a book you can see the photo or the picture of the onion okay that means the onion and the potatoes are stem okay from which a new plant is born but some seeds are there okay if we uh, for example a cotton plant okay if you find out if you go and see a cotton plant when wind blows okay the seeds of the cotton plant it flow okay it blows from one place to another place and it lands in another surface and there wherever it lands a cotton plants give birth okay that means it is a kind of giving birth okay now lastly living things grow all and die okay all living things die when they become old plants like a sunflower plant die in a few months dogs live for around 10 to 12 years and then die when all living things dies it cannot move grow eat breed feel changes or produce young ones it is no longer life okay but the non living things okay the non living things they don't die because they don't have life but the living things like human plants animals insects okay when they become older and older and older and older they die because they have life in it okay so this is chapter number 5 in the next class we are going to discuss chapter number 6 that is birds and their bodies okay stay home stay safe do it for yourselves do it for your family do it for india let's break the chain of covid 19 ab hum ye kamyab jai hind